I think it's been fantastic, actually. I'd have to say the quality of the attendees is first class. Um, it's a great chance for people to, uh, um, vendors to get value. And I think even the vendors I've spoken to have been quite surprised about the quality of the attendees that have been there. It's a really interesting event. I mean, the, the great thing about it is that you are bringing international hoteliers together who really know what they want to achieve with the business. They've got a very clear strategy. Um, so the conversations that you're having are really thorough, very comprehensive. You're able to really understand how they're trying to pull things together. Also, when you speak to the um, tech vendors, you know, they're very clear as to sort of the people that they're talking to and what their needs are. What have you learned about at the International Hotel Technology Forum? And thank you for having us here today. Um, we have actually learned that technology is transforming and helping hoteliers and properties all around the world to enhance guest experience, get more revenue and enhance as well the operations, make it more efficient. So what we have learned is that we can meet again. We give back here, we're reconnecting, we're, events are back, hoteliers are back, service providers are back, hospitality at the end is back again, and we're stronger than ever. We covered trends on an on channel basis. Uh, we understood what the future trends are going to be for the industry, especially with the last couple of years, the, the effects it's had on us, and how to sort of future-proof uh, and ensure that, you know, which payment provider you're going to need is going to be critical to allow you to develop your business and be most cost-effective at the moment. Well, I talked about consumer behaviors and, and how to kind of incorporate that into your business strategies. Um, I talked about how you can observe changes in people's behavior and how you can translate that into business strategies and commercial activities, marketing, sales, uh, and, and all of the above. So. I talked exactly about that, about how platforms uh, actually change our industry and uh, allow hotel groups to be able uh, to be more flexible, to unlock the digital potential, as well as really future-proofing their tech stack and being able to be more agile. Very innovative, forward-thinking companies have uh, participated at this event and connecting minds and technologies uh, is the future. We uh, talked about contact less and the future sort of needs of our guests. So Christian is focusing very much on innovation and guest journey and how it's, uh, how has contact less been uh, developing, especially during the pandemic, but over the past couple of or years as well, and where will we go from here? So we do think that we will see less screens and maybe more human interactions again, and that technology will support us in that. Uh, and we also focused a bit on sort of um, the backside, the flip side of it all, uh, of cybersecurity and how with us connecting all these devices and gathering all this data, we're also sort of creating a, a, a paradise for hackers that uh, will come into our systems and either sort of, you know, shut us down, steal guest data, and how to work with those two in parallel. I was talking about cybersecurity in hotels and hospitality, and we covered a lot of our data sets at Global Data, a lot of case studies of cyber attacks happening in the industry, and also solutions, how people can respond to the cyber threat. But it's also the excitement about the innovations that, that we've continued to push as an industry, even in a downtime for the pandemic, and the, the changing expectations of our guests and how we're prepared and poised to meet those changed expectations. Well, I talked about a unified hospitality platform. If you think about individual solutions like property management or like points of sale, I think we, we, we miss a trick there. And what we really need to think about is a, a unified platform, API first, openness, building a community to really leverage innovation, not only across hospitality, but across all industries, taking in best practices and, and, and leveraging the, the, the great abilities of our own developers and, and all kinds of great minds that are thinking about the ways that we can better the guest experience. We were talking about the OTAs and how the relationship are with the hotels post pandemic in 2022 and moving forward, um, how hotels can use them to their best advantage uh, and you know how not to let the OTAs run away and take control of the hotel which is I think every hotel's key objective is to work with them as a partner use them to your advantage um, but uh, not let them take too much control. After the Covid uh, pandemic uh, for the first time we got together it was an amazing experience to have face-to-face -face meetings again there is nothing that can replace face-to-face -face meetings 
So thank you so much for um, the organization, the, uh, the speeches. We had some amazing speakers uh, in the session. And uh, the fact that uh, there was filtering of the meetings between uh, uh, vendors and uh, buyers in the industry was really unique because uh, it gave us the chance to focus on what we do best, on what the clients are interested in, and have a very productive face-to-face uh, -face interactions. I would say it's the intensity. We, you manage uh, to get so much into just a very short period of time. And a great combination between listening to, uh, to presentations, aspirational and inform informatives, and then to meet with, with partners and vendors in, in these one-to-ones. And also you get time to, to socialize and, and meet people and, and partners that you haven't uh, stumbled on before. So I think it's a great mix. I'm going to be beat when I, <laughs> when I leave. I'm going to be so tired. But at the same time, I'm going to be energized, educated, and with a lot of power for the future. You know, after 10 years, this show just get, in my opinion, get better. And I don't know why I'd be starting to tell the marketplace that, you know, you're the longest continuous running technology, hotel technology conference in Europe. I think people understand the idea of the business being where people get 20 minutes or half an hour, one to one is invaluable. Uh, and, you know, and I know for, a lot, for some of the vendors, they've got a lot of new prospects which they can work on and start building relationships, which the relationship might've started here at uh, IHDF. Um, and really bringing to the table some interesting insights. And that's what we really need. We need to know how we're going to move forward and how the industry as a whole uh, can uh, not just recuperate from the last couple of years, um, but also move forward um, and, and, and um, in the same dynamism and innovation that other industries are.